Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you just like a full glam of just goodness and golden tones and just wing liner, lashes, everything is served. You're welcome. Today I wanted to sit down and create some makeup for you guys and oh, I just feel it in my spirit. It's gonna be a good video and you guys are gonna love it and you're gonna try it out for yourself. It is just everything that I love about makeup. It's in one video. I use so many products and I had so much fun filming this. Like I actually had a lot of fun. Like I enjoyed being with myself, talking to myself to the camera, but no it's gonna get to you. So that experience was just amazing. But make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the little bell button so you know if I want to make new uploads. I'm trying to get to 85k, you know what I'm saying, by the end of September. That way we're 15k away from 100k. You know, I got my math right. We're going to hit it before the year ends. Just saying. But without further ado, if you guys want to see how I created this look right here, I don't know what I'm going to call it. So, yes. I hope the title is lit. If it's not lit, please forgive me. The makeup is lit, so that should make it all alright. If you guys want to see how I created this look right here, then please keep on watching. First, I'm going to start off with my Benefit Brow Contour Pro Pencil. This is the color Brown Light. I really have been liking this guy right here. It honestly has been making it so easy for me to fill in my eyebrows, especially like on the go. Like, look at how easy that was. So I like to like fill in like the bottom of my brow first. I kind of do wish that I had a spoolie. That's like the only thing that I'm like, dang, that would have been like literally the most perfect thing. But I'm sure they didn't do it for a reason that I am unaware of. And I'm just filling in inside, just coloring in the lines. I pretty much color in halfway and then I go in with the lighter shade. I started filling that in closer to the front of my brow. I just take the spoolie and blend everything together. Now I took some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna be using that with my Sigma Concealer F70 brush and really clean up my eyebrows. Moving on to the eyes is what I'm most excited about. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I do know that I have the Anastasia Norvina palette right here. And then I also pulled out my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And uh, we shall create something amazing today. I'm feeling like the fall vibes, but I feel like it's too early to dig in into like fall tutorials, but who follows the rules anyways these days, just saying. I'm gonna start off by taking the color Riff. It is a beautiful caramel transition color. And I'm gonna be taking that with my Anastasia A25 blending brush. And I'm gonna start working that color right onto the crease of the eye. Obviously, where else would it go? I have like on your clean brushes and it makes like such a big difference guys like honestly and i'm really gonna focus like all my colors like in the outer crease of the eye i'm actually gonna keep using this born to run palette because i feel like i have everything that i need right here that one's a little bit more cool tone now what i'm going for with this one it has everything up next i'm gonna take a little bit of baja it is a matte orange shade just to warm up my crease a little more you guys know how i am with my oranges and browns or like my favorite to work with i feel like this mirror is weird <laughs> That's not funny. What happened? I got scared. Did you catch it on the cam? Please don't go on camera. You look so ratchet right now. I'm boy looking. Oh, you stink too. What y'all think? Paul, should I, you like the scruffy look? Please vote no. I like the beard, but like not scruffy like that. Ah, I love me a good smoky blown owl crease. Just what I live for. All right, guys. Now we're going to start building up the outer corner. And I'm going to go in with Good As Gone. It is a... More of an ashy brown matte color right over here. I'm gonna be taking that with my Morphe M513 brush. And I'm gonna start packing that right in the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm doing small circular motions to really get that product in there. I feel like I need a smaller brush for this step. It usually works better when I have like a smaller brush. This is the first one that I grab, so I don't have to commit to it, you know? I don't wanna get another one dirty. I mean, I'm gonna take a little bit of Baja, which is the orange shade. And make sure that I don't lose that vibrancy with the pop of color. Now I'm taking a smaller brush to Morphe M507 and I'm gonna be taking the color Punk, which is a beautiful, rich brown matte shade. I love colors like this one. If I can make a palette one day, I'll make it all brown colors. Like, I'm gonna find a way to make it look bomb as hell, but um, all browns. And I'm gonna use that brown to also deepen up my outer corner. All right, guys, now for the fun part, I'm gonna be taking the color Stranded, which is a beautiful gold gold shade right here. I'm gonna be picking that up on a flat brush. You guys saw my favorite one is the MAC 247 brush. And once I apply it to the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take some setting spray and moisten up the brush. 
And I'm gonna be applying this to the inner part of my... Ooh! Wow, I was not expecting that at all. I'm gonna try to be as clean as possible because I want this still to be a little bit more like sharp than the others. Usually I want my eyeshadow to be blown out, but today I'm feeling like the preciseness. This right here is such a beautiful gold shade and it's so easy to work with too i'm taking again that brown shade and i'm gonna use it to just kind of buff it out with the gold i'm also gonna be taking this mac dazzle shadow liquid eyeshadow thingy i got this in pr and i am so excited to try it on and it looked bomb so i cannot wait to see how it looks on the eye i just went straight in yeah no regret i'm gonna be taking my dose of colors so shady cream matte eye color and what I'm going to do, I'm going to be creating the outline of my wing and then fill it in with liquid liner. It is the best like eyeshadow pomade cream color that I have ever tried. It is really, really good formula. It is super creamy and dark and black and it does not dry out, which is all the great things to making this product amazing. Now taking my chewing eyeliner from the Balm Cosmetics. I'm going to be using this to just tidy up my wing. For today's lashes, I'm using Tati Lashes and whenever they reached out they wanted to send me stuff, I literally almost passed out because they're like UK's like number one lash brand and they're just so amazing and so many makeup artists are using their lashes and their looks are incredible so when they said they wanted to send me stuff i was like yes please one of each thank you so much so today i'm using the style tl6 they're really fluffy and wispy so i really have high hopes for these lashes so i hope they make me want to just throw up it's a little too intense but that's really how i feel to prime my face i'm gonna be taking my Too faced hangover primer you guys know this is one of my ride or die ones i do like six pumps no big deal mm, i just love how it smells and how amazing it makes my skin feel and i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my elf cosmetics beauty shield daily defense and makeup mist i really have been loving elf and especially their setting sprays happen to be one of my favorites especially from the drugstore which is super bomb and affordable before moving on to foundation i'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes these are absolutely perfection well wow, these lashes are everything sometimes you just gotta gas yourself up because nobody will do it for you especially your haters all right guys now ready to cake the face let me put these edges back because it's about to get real crazy with all these products I'm about to slap on my face. This is my Huda Beauty foundation. It's one of my favorite um, full coverage foundations that I own. And I am in the color I'm already 310. So one pump on each side actually does the job for me. So when that out, I'm taking my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 Air brush. So I pretty much distribute the foundation with a brush just to get it pretty much all over my face. And then I take the blender and just pounce it in making sure that everything is nice and seamless up next i'm gonna go in with cream contouring i'm gonna be taking my fenty beauty match sticks match i can never speak english like what's my problem match sticks match sticks oh, i can't fenty i can't in the shade truffle and to conceal the one and only Too face born this way because lately i just apply too much i mean is that really a problem I mean, it's my concealer, you know, but I'm trying to be resourceful with what I have and not just waste it because I have it. And then I'm going to draw a little heart because this is what seems to be getting people's attention on social media. <laughs> to win on my contour, I'm taking my Rat All Dye brush. Put it It is a Sigma F55 Small Dual Fiber brush. Oh, it just blends like butter you know i blend like something i've never experienced before like definitely use my code because you need this brush oh look at the heart i am so proud of myself and then i blend underneath of the lip to make it look pouty without spending money now i'm taking the blender to blend out the highlighter and spun everything out nicely. I really like the curved side of this because it allows me to really get in there, especially in this inner corner. Like I have such a problem like blending products in this area. I just can never get it right. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just my hand, I don't know. And then I like to blend in around the contour to make it look more soft and natural, you know? And now I'm going to blend out nose contour that I'm so confident about these days. Like, look at that, snatched. To set my face, nonetheless, the toothpaste toothpaste i literally can't speak english i should just move out to puerto rico i just give up i can't my toothpaste peach perfect powder it is literally my jammer tin i love it so much jammer tonian 
and I love the edge of this blender because I'm able to really just bake my nose, you know, like because I'm really into that these days. And it makes it look so much better than if I didn't have this blender to help me out. I'm also taking a little bit more powder and I'm going to chisel my cheekbone and kind of like bring it up, kind of lifts, lifts your um cheeks okay ladies and gentlemen i'm going to buff out everything that i just put on like two seconds ago because that's just how i do things around my beauty room um i'm gonna be taking my laura mercier candlelight sheer perfecting powder and my hourglass fluffy brush and pretty much just like buff everything away because no need to bake for such a long time anymore we are over those days but this powder you guys has been my life you guys can see how some like listen to it it makes my face feel like do you guys see like some kind of radiance like i'm not playing tricks with you guys like do you see the glow <sighs> please tell me you see the glow because if i'm not i look foolish moving on up moving on up yes i'm taking my morphe blush trio in the color pop of coral definitely wouldn't have guessed anything else because it's literally the three of them are coral shades i'm taking unapologetic and um, boss Mix them together and i'm taking that with my morphe m530 brush now i'm gonna go ahead and set everything in place i don't know if i should put something like on my lower lash line because <sighs> where's the brush where you need it i'm taking my morphe m507 and i'm gonna be taking riff and i am going to use that on my lower lash line i think i'm gonna be applying punk which is the matte color that i already used and i'm going to just deepen that up because i'm feeling super confident right now about this makeup look okay moving on to mascara taking my benefit roller lash mascara oldie but definitely a goodie i love this so much i'm gonna use this to coat my bottom lashes okay guys we're almost done i feel just i just feel great today i feel amazing um highlight very importante taking my i love sarah e and this what colors highlight oh in the color so mate so mate. and just because i'm feeling super confident today about my makeup skills i'm gonna do something that i probably 100 percent am going to regret i'm gonna be taking my bestie for my highlight my f42 by sigma Taking my Iconic London Prep Setting Glow, which is literally the coolest, most amazing setting spray. Oh my god, these flowers keep playing me. Like, y'all need to stop. It's not about you. I'm gonna vlog them so you guys can see them. This highlight is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush because that's what famous girls do on Instagram. So I'm gonna do it. Ah, it smells so good though. So you gotta be really careful with this because y'all, it is just too much. Like, sometimes I just can't. I don't want it to like stain my face, y'all feel me? I'm just gonna like be super gentle with this as I am not being gentle with this. Yes, girl. I am taking a pencil brush though and loading that on in the inner corners. Just adds so much to the eye. And also my brow bone that gets neglected in almost every single video that I've done. But not anymore, guys. I am stepping up everything, I promise. Okay, guys, now for the moment we've all been waiting for the glow on the face. For lips today, I'm doing 100% pouty overline lips, so just don't come for me, don't judge me. I am really sorry that I haven't found any more favorite lip liners. I really wanna go to MAC. Oh, my back hurts. Ugh, I gotta get a better chair. Um, I really wanna go to MAC because they have like the best lip liners, like the best colors, not like the best formula, but the best colors, so I need to up on my lip liner game. Taking my Dry Cosmetics Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. Um, you could also save 30% off, but only if you want to save 30% off. There's no, no pressure. I've been using it for like a solid two years and I just can't let it go. Should I do Huda Beauty or Girlactic? I should do a IG followers do my makeup. I'm actually filming the, I thought you guys are ready, whatever. Um, but I think I'm gonna do Huda Beauty because I look, you want her to repost me. Is that selfish, is that vain? Is it okay to tell the truth or is it not okay these days? Oh, <laughs> let me tell you the color. It is in the color Venus. Oh, it's actually cute. And then because I do want a glossy lip anyways, I'm gonna go in with the gloss, taking the Dose of Colors and I Love Sarai Gloss in Barely There. I don't think I've used this one a lot because it's actually really, really light. And it's just like not my cup of tea, but I don't think a little bit would hurt anybody, right? Well, that was it for this video. I really hope you guys loved and enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe down below. If you did in the beginning, do it now. You know you love me. Just, just get that over with. Welcome to the Valerina's family. You're officially part 
of the squad. As always, I will have all the products that I use and mention listed down below along with the links and discount codes. And as always, don't forget to follow me on my social media, which will be Instagram and Twitter. You can find me at Beauty. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part about this video, any products that I use that you love, any products that I use that you didn't love. Let me know anyways. I love talking to you guys. And that is it for today. I love you guys so much. Muchos besitos. Yeah, abrazos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.